So how do you factor cube functions? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And by now, you've probably learned how to factor square functions, the perfect square functions. But how do you sol uh, solve and factor cubes? Well, here's a demonstration on how you do that. And there's this, the pattern is the same for both some indifference of uh, the cubes, but with one little exception. But first things first, here's an example. Suppose you wanted to factor x cubed plus 27. Now, what you have to think about first is write the two terms as cubes. Now, x cubed is already a cube, so you don't have to worry about that. However, with 27, you have to think about it in terms of cubes. For example, what number cubed is 27? In other words, what number multiplied by itself three times will give you 27? Well, after a little bit of thought, you'll come to the conclusion that 27 is really 3 cubed. Now, Here's how you factor it. You're going to need a smaller parentheses and a larger parentheses. Now, the smaller parentheses will contain the smaller terms, and the larger parentheses will contain those larger terms. Now, with x cubed, you can break them up as a smaller part and a larger part. So it'll be x and x squared. Now, by the same token, you can split up the 3 cubed as a smaller and larger part. The 3 is going to go in the smaller parentheses, and the 3 squared is going to be in the larger parentheses. Now, to get a plus sign, you have two pluses that generally will give you a plus. So we're going to have two positive signs. Now, you may have noticed that I left a gap on purpose for the larger parentheses. Well, that's because the larger parentheses will always have three terms. Now, what is that third term going to be? Well, the third term is when you multiply the x and the 3, which is going to be 3x. Now something else about factoring cubes, it's you're always going to have two positives and one negative sign. Now since we already have the two positives, you will have the negative sign right here. Now what if we want to factor x cubed minus 27? Here we go very quickly. You already know it's 3 cubed, so it will be x cubed minus 3 cubed. Now just like the sum of two cubes, you also have two positives and one negative sign. So here we go. You will have x and x squared and 3 and 3 squared. Now to get a negative sign, generally you need a negative and a positive. But remember what I said about you needing one negative and two positive signs? Since I already have that my one negative, this has to be a positive. And the term that goes in here is x times 3, which is 3x. So, my name is Jimmy Chang, and that is how you factor cube functions.